today I'm gonna show you how to knit this feather like cable hat. Let's get started. Please check my description box for all the detail. I pretty much put everything there. Anyway, this is beautiful hat. First of all, I did double headband. It's quite warm because of that. And then start knitting head part. There's no increasing or decreasing until top of the head. It's beautiful, isn't it? And obviously, top of the head, I decrease some stitches to, you know, close the top part, right? Super easy. Little bit of the cable, but it's worth to try. So, let's move on to my swatch and gauge okay my gauge i just need the stitches actually i have 21 stitches with some four inch across also i need one more number which is your head size my head size is 22 inches so let's do the math four inch my gauge versus 22 inch my head size equal 21 stitches versus x stitch this x is my cast on number x equal 22 times 21 divided by 4 x equal 115 cast on number should be multiple of 11 so i picked 110 and if this number is not multiple of two, add one stitch. Okay, cast on. Multiple of 11, for me, 110. Again, if this isn't even number, please add one stitch to make it even number. You know, multiple of 11, but it has to be multiple of two as well. So, well, because the rib movement is repeat of knit one and purl one. There you go. Make sure you're face to right side. And I am going to connect both ends. Use the uh, begin marker and start making rib. Making rib, repeat of knit one and purl one. If this is even number, cast on you should be able to start with knit and end with purl and you make rib until your desired length if you want to do double headband you have to knit desired length times two i want two inch headband so i knitted it about four inch then I am going to fold it later. Once you reach the desired length times two. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I made about four inch. That's enough for me. So I am going to fold in half, inward. Okay? That's my right side. And obviously, inside is my wrong side. So what I do is just pick up the uh, bottom stitch and join them together. That's pretty much it. So my right side, starting with knit stitch, which means on the wrong side should be pro side. So at the very bottom of the stitch, 
pick the edge thread like that. And again, this is my knit stitch, right? So with that extra stitch and original stitch, just knit two together because this is knit stitch on right side. So still kind of making rib. So next stitch should be knit stitch on wrong side. So pick up the bottom of the uh, stitch. You can actually uh, pick pretty much, you know, any thread if that's the right place. And then the second stitch is purl. So with that extra stitch, purl two together. That's actually about it. It's kind of pain in the neck sometimes. So just take your time and make sure you pick right line. You don't want to, you know, kind of go wrong angle for your rib, right? Okay, so the rib has done. Now the head part, the cable part starts. That's the wrong side. And the row number one on it and Whoever add one stitch to make it even number for rib, now you have to decrease one to make it complete multiple of 11. I actually add one extra, well, two extra actually, uh, for uh, just the example. Just knit two together. Two decrease like that. I didn't have to add extra, but I did because I want to show, you know, how to decrease. Just need two together. And next time you do row number one, you don't have to decrease, okay? Just own it. And I add markers every 11 stitch. You don't need to. You know, I just want to show you this, uh, the pattern move every 11 stitch. That's about it. And I will actually remove the marker later because it's kind of, you know, awkward to, you know, do the uh, cable with the uh, marker. It's really up to you. Okay, so rule number two. Repeat of 11 stitch. Easy. Purl 4 to start. 2, 3, 4. And then knit 2. This is easy. And next, little bit awkward. Kicks in. But don't worry. Okay, so next stitch, I am going to increase two stitch so make it three stitch okay knit halfway do not drop the uh, left side stitch yet then yarn over once so this is two stitch on right side right and then knit in same stitch there you go so now i have a three stitch in one stitch so I call it three in one. Then next, okay, I'll show you a couple more times, so don't worry about it. Next stitch, slip purl-wise. Then do it again, three in one. So knit halfway. There you go. And yarn over. One, two, then knit in same stitch one more time. Okay. Then drop the uh, left stitch. That's it.
and then knit two. So you have to repeat these 11 stitch pattern. Okay, so slide the marker. And as you can see, I actually knit uh, pretty tight. And I didn't like that. So uh, later, I am going to show you one more time. I am going to knit loosely around that three in one stitch. So just watch my video carefully until the end. Okay, this is three in one stitch. Knit halfway, yarn over, and then knit one. There you go, three in one. Then yarn still back, working yarn still back, and slip one purl wise. And three in one stitch here, halfway, yarn over, and then knit one. Then knit two after that. Super easy. But again, I don't want you to knit tight like I just did because it's getting harder and harder after that. So anyway, this is end of row number two. Half, this is three in one stitch, then slip one purl wise and the working yarn always at the back. You know, the the pearl is, you know, front, but anyway, row number three, knit six. Until that, you know, three in one stitch. So pretty much knit or knit around. Anyway, then here comes, you know, three in one stitch. And slip these three in one stitch, pearl-wise. One, two, three. That's it. And then knit next stitch. And again, there's three in one stitch, right? So it's tight, so one by one, you can do that. Three at once, doesn't matter. Okay, and then, oh, I guess, yeah, the last one was the uh, yarn over. I kind of, you know, pick wrong one, so I'm going to drop it. So you got to be careful. Again, so when I knit on row number two really tight, especially around the uh, three-in-one stitch, it's getting tighter and tighter, so... Again, I am going to show you later how to knit loosely. So for now, please watch carefully. And there you go, three in one stitch and just slide or slip purlwise, knit one, and again slide three in one stitch together and knit two. That's it. And row number four will be cable row. So you need cable needle. Once you get used to, it's easy. But probably first row, it's a little bit tougher. But take your time. Pearl four to start. Repeat pearl four. And C2 slash 3B. It's hard to say, but you know, 3 means 3 in one stitch. Okay, so the first number you always pick with cable needle. That's how you remember. So pick 2, then B means back. So put the cable needle at the back. Then those three in one stitch, you have to knit three together always. Then back loop, knit back loop. So knitting, which means the working yarn has to be at the back. And 
put the needle straight in into back actually loop like that and then knit there you know what I'm saying I knit too tight that's why it's really hard to you know pull the yarn from those three stitch anyway um, I knit two from the uh, cable needle after I knit the uh, three in one stitch and one slip stitch purl wise then again first number you have to pick with cable needle so C3 so you're picking up three in one stitch with cable needle and F means front so I'll put out front and knit two first from left needle then come back to cable needle and do the same thing put the needle straight into back loop this is a little bit hard for me there you go then knit that's it so you have to repeat those two uh, I'm sorry 11 stitch there we go again row number four I will repeat pearl four with pearl of course working yarn has to be out front and c2 3b so the first number you have to pick with cable needle like that and put cable need at the back because c2 3b then three in one stitch i'm sorry i i'll show you soon there you go three in one stitch put the needle into back loop like that and knit three stitch together like that there you go and then come back to cable needle then knit two stitch from cable needle then right after that there's one stitch right so slip one purl wise there we go the working has to be at the back then c3 2 f so you have to pick those three in one stitch together and out front then knit two from cable needle no i'm sorry the left needle first then come back to cable needle can't you see it's kind of awkward with the uh, the markers right so um three in one just put the needle straight in to back loop then knit three in one together there we go and this uh, cable knitting complete on row number four super easy and can't you tell well maybe not that's a uh, the garter you know part in between you know feather cable and you just have to repeat row number one to row number four until your desired length pretty much at you know at least cover your head and again I will show you one more time this time you know make sure you have to knit kind of loosely okay the row number one knit one without any increase or decrease and here comes row number two this is the important row repeat of pearl four then knit two this is easy right pearl four and knit two pretty straightforward and after that 
three in one stitch kicks in. This is important tip one. Now you have to knit kind of loose. Pull a little bit, halfway, right? And then yarn over kind of loosely and knit one. So can you actually see a little thick right there and slip one pearl wise? And I'll do one more time. Pull halfway and then yarn over loosely then knit one there you go little bulky there right because i knit loosely this time so it's much easier after this row there you go just repeating and knit two then three in one stitch pull a little bit then yarn over loosely and knit one and slip one purl wise and one more time pull yarn over loosely and then knit one this is important key tip and you know I want you to see how loose the yarn over. This is fine. And, you know, I wanted to show you both tight and loose so you can see how difference, right? So anyway, this is row number three. Knit six. Well, you know, pretty much knit until that three in one stitch. This is row number three. And then slide those three stitch purl wise. There you go. Easy, easy. And knit one. So you can tell, right? There you go. Easy. Then knit two, but pretty much, you know, knit all the way to next three in one stitch. And here comes row number four. So you already know what to do. So I'm just showing you. Pearl full and there you go. Now slide two stitch with the uh, cable needle and put at the back. Then there you go. Knit three in one stitch. back loop from front to back if it's you know difficult this is important tip two and then need two from cable needle I'll show you one more time if you are having hard time to knit those back loop okay Pick up the uh, three in one stitch with cable needle this time because three stitch first number, right? And then knit two from left needle. Then here it comes. If it's really hard to put the needle into back loop, put the needle front, then slide to back. Then knit the back loop that's it so again please keep knitting repeating from row number one to row number four as many as you want at least pretty much cover your head i'll show you how much i knitted it before decreasing kicksing here it comes there we go. So I repeated 14 times the cable knitting and about 9 inch from the bottom to top. And now is the time I am going to decrease and decrease about 13 rows so you really have to think 
13 rows to decrease. So now you know how long you want to knit. It's really up to you, right? So let's start decreasing row number one. I'll show you a few rows and then you follow my written instruction for a few rows and then I'll show you again. Knit two together. Repeat off, knit two together and knit nine. So you have to repeat. So I had multiple of 11, but now every 11, you know, pattern stitch, I decrease one stitch. So now I will have multiple of 10 stitch. You know what I'm saying? Repeat off, knit two together, one stitch decrease, and then knit nine. So I had an 11 stitch, but now I have 10 stitch. So well, total number is 10 times 10 for me. Okay, so now I have 100. So I lost one stitch after the marker. So maybe it's um, ideal for you to add marker. It's easy. Anyway, decreasing row number two, straightforward. Just purl three instead of purl four. Right? And then rest of them are same as just regular row number two. At the very beginning, different number. But I don't decrease on even row. I only decrease on odd number of row. Decreasing row number three, again, right after the marker, need two together again, every marker. And knit three. I'm getting confused there. Knit three and there we go. Yeah. Slip three in one stitch then knit one. Same. And now I have nine in between markers. There we go. And decreasing row number four, purl two right after the marker and cable knitting. Pretty much same. Well, it's same because there's no um, decreasing. So the first number is, you know, different, right? Pearl 2 to start this time, but it was Pearl 4 to start. So that's the only difference. So after this, I'm not going to show you, you know, the cable knitting because it's same. After that, you just follow my written instruction and I need you decreasing row number four. Uh, I'm sorry, decreasing row number nine. Because, you know, between row number five and decreasing row number eight, pretty much straightforward. So as long as you s look at my written pattern, you don't have to worry about it. This is the pattern. Nothing to worry about. Right? Then decreasing row number nine, uh, the decreasing part change because now the pearl part is all gone. Okay, so decreasing row number nine. So now there's only feather part left. So 
after the marker. Repeat up, knit two together, and knit three. Then knit two together. Now, it's multiple of five. Just repeat, there's no more, you know, uh, marker for me. You don't really have to use the uh, marker as long as you keep track. Sometimes it's easy. There you go. One, two, three. Then knit two together. Just repeat. Knit two together. Knit three. Knit two together. And next two rows are straightforward. So I'm not going to show you everything. So decreasing row number 10, knit one, and then three in one stitch. You know, knit halfway, yarn over, and knit. Then slip one purl wise, blah, blah, blah. And you do the uh, decreasing row 11. There's no uh, decreasing in those two rows the reason why is i pretty much finish and now c one three b so picking up the one stitch with cable needle and then knit three in one stitch there you go this is a little bit awkward because you know i'm knitting under the the camera so it's, it was hard for me. And slip one, purl wise, and now picking up three in one stitch with cable needle and knit one. Then knit those three stitch together. There we go. Almost, almost done. And decrease in row number 13. Repeat off, knit two together, knit one, and knit two together. So now I have only three stitch left with an 11 stitch. Used to be 11 stitch, right? Multiple of 11. So you just have to repeat. And if you're needing much smaller size, you should be able to finish after this row. However, when I finish this row, there are many stitch left. I could, you know, finish it, but I decide I'm going to Repeat, knit two together, one round. So knit two together, one round means I am going to decrease half of stitches, right? And if you still have many more stitch left because you're knitting way bigger size, you can do one more knit two together row. There you go. That's actually quite good stitch count to close it right so uh, it's not gonna jam on top of your head right so use the uh, tapestry needle and just put through every stitch then close it that's about it So, again, after decreasing row 13, you can finish it. But, like me, if there are still too many stitches left, you can do knit two together or around, and you can do one more if you want. So, decreasing rows... As long as you follow my written instruction, it's super easy. All right? 
Then now weave the ends off, pull the uh, yarn really tight. And this is right side, so I am going to put the needle into the uh, wrong side. Then weave the uh, ends off. That's pretty much it. Okay, so I made double rib at first. If you don't want that, you don't have to. Also, as you probably notice, I use same needle. There's no reason really, but I kind of want to have, you know, um, loose headband part that's pretty much it so if you want you can use the uh, smaller needle for rib it's really up to you okay this is great christmas gift idea all right thank you for watching and enjoy Meaning. Bye for now.